Hi guys, I've teamed up with the folks at UL to showcase the importance of smoke alarms in the home. Now, whether you call them fire alarms like me or smoke alarms, they are an important part of your home. With that in mind, there's no better recipe to make than crepe Suzette. It's a classic French dessert recipe, which is sweet and orange scented. And best of all, it's finished off with a sweet, sticky and boozy flambéed sauce. This is a flaming hot dessert and I can't think of a better recipe that showcases just why you need a working fire alarm in your kitchen. Now, it's a very simple process to make. We're gonna start off by making a pancake batter. This is a crepe batter with some flour, some milk, a little bit of eggs and then some melted butter. So let's get the batter on. To make the batter, start by sifting 100 grams of plain flour into a large bowl. Separately, add two eggs to 225 milliliters of milk and whisk until combined. Zest one large orange directly into the flour. Pour the milk and egg mixture straight into the flour and mix until the batter is smooth. Melt 25 grams of butter in a pan until nice and bubbling. Add some melted butter straight into the batter and then mix until nicely combined. Now I guess the only difference between this and a regular crepe batter is the fact that you've added the orange zest, but this will go a long way. That little hint of citrus fragrance will give you a fantastic end result. Last little thing to do is add a pinch of salt. Any sweet desserts always require that little pinch of salt just to balance the flavor. And sometimes that little bit of salt will actually go a long way to amplify the citrus flavors that are throughout this dessert. So, okay, we are in business. We have a pancake batter ready to rock. This needs to sit in the fridge for about 30 minutes just to allow the gluten in the flour to rest. Then it's time to fry off, make some beautiful pancakes, and get our crepe Suzette on. Right, before we get into this next section of the recipe, which involves an open flame, it is high time we check the fire alarm. And this is something that people don't do often enough. It takes minutes to do, and it saves lives. Now here's a good tip. Smoke alarms should be checked at least twice a year and you can do that just around the time the clocks change. But it's also recommended to be checked on a monthly basis too. You'll prevent that annoying chirping reminder and you'll have that peace of mind knowing your home is up to date and safe. Okay. Fire alarm is tested, the crepe batter is now ready to rock. So all I'm gonna do is crack through this batter, fry them off until we have a nice golden brown on each side, keep them warm in the oven, and then it'll be time to make our crepe Suzette finish flambe magic. Using a ladle, pour the batter into a non-stick pan with some melted butter. After one to two minutes, flip and cook the other side. Once it's cooked, fold the crepes twice and then keep them warm in a low oven. Now, before we get into the flambéing section of this recipe, I want to talk about fire alarms one more time because this is an important one and it's definitely something I've been guilty of in the past. We used to have this terrible old fire alarm in our old house in Ireland that was so old that it would just set itself off even if I was just cooking in the kitchen. So there's a lot of people who will deactivate their fire alarms because it's a nuisance in the kitchen, but unfortunately, a lot of people forget to turn them back on, which is such a risk to take. And now most modern fire alarms can actually tell the difference of normal cooking compared to an actual problem in the kitchen fire in the kitchen. So with that in mind, we've tested the fire alarm. We're good to go. I'm going to start off by making a very simple caramel. So I have a little pot of sugar. We're going to get it straight into the pan we were using to make the pancakes. And all we're looking to do is create a nice caramel. So you're going to cook that out until we have a rich and golden caramel. While the sugar caramelizes, juice two large oranges. Now, getting the perfect caramel does take a moment and it is really hot, so you have to be careful with this. But you're just gonna swirl the pan. Don't be tempted to get in there with a wooden spoon or anything because you don't want the sugar to crystallize. This is almost where it needs to be. I can see, even though this is a black pan, I can see that just around the edges, this is a nice golden brown color. So at this point now, we're gonna get the butter in here and really create a gorgeous and unctuous sauce. So butter goes in, it will hiss, it will bubble a little bit, but that's okay. Swirl that butter in there, and now it's time for that orange juice. So come in and have a look at this. This is where the action's at. Oh, hello. 
the smell right now is so fantastic. So I'm just swirling the pan to make sure that caramel gets involved and it melts throughout that gorgeous orange juice. And what you're left with is this like unctuous, sweet and citrusy sauce, which is perfectly ready for our warmed crepes, which are in the oven. So just allow that caramel to infuse into the sauce and you're pretty good. Okay, this looks fantastic. Just come in and have a look. You've got gorgeous bubbles happening here. You've got that sweet, sticky sauce. And now, once we've got it at this stage, it's time to get the crepes in there, add our Grand Marnier, and then get that flame going. Evenly coat the crepes in the hot caramel sauce while it's still on the heat. Lastly, carefully pour a little bit of Grand Marnier into the pan, tilt it slightly towards the flame, and then flambe for that perfect crepe Suzette finish. A bit of flambe action. I still have my eyebrows intact, but come in and check this out because the magic of crepe Suzette is right here in the pan. You can see that little bit of caramelization, that gorgeous, gorgeous flambe action is gonna just infuse this very humble dish with so much flavor. I mean, just look at that. This is where the magic of this fantastic recipe is at. That is an absolutely gorgeous little recipe. Crepe Suzette, finish it off with some orange zest if you like, or even some orange segments tossed in that gorgeous sauce. I think we need to try it. This is just one of those recipes that is so humble. I mean, it's literally pancake batter that is just doused in gorgeous sophistication. Mm. There's a reason why these are classic recipes because you can't mess too much with that. It's just buttery, it's sweet, it's caramelly. And best of all, it has that little hint of orange running all the way through it and in the sauce as well. This is a fantastic recipe to check if your fire alarm is actually working <laughs> because I can guarantee when you flambe it, you're gonna know there's a flame in the kitchen. But it's a really great recipe, whatever the occasion. And as always, I'm gonna leave a link to the recipe in the description box below. Leave us a comment letting us know if you're gonna give this gorgeous one a go. And until then, my friends, I'll see you soon. This is now going to be fried up. I don't feel I don't feel my love.